When God gets quiet, guys, be very worried. I'm not talking about there are times when God is silent and he's silent as you're going through your walk of faith. You've been communing with the Lord, hearing from God. And sometimes as you're going through different phases in your life, he is quiet. And that's because as you're walking by faith and you're walking through certain trials and tribulations, sometimes God is quiet as that is all a part of your walk in faith, but he is ever present. What I'm talking about is when God stops warning you, when God stops talking to you about your sin, when you no longer hear that, that silent voice in you, be worried. We have a gracious God. We have a mighty God. And that's why sin runs so rampant in our lives, in people's lives. You see it because there is just uh, a total uh, advantage that's being taken of grace, God's grace. You may even see that with people you know, right? You are, <clears throat> you see people, they just take advantage of opportunities that when an olive branch is given to them. But guys, I want to tell you something. Those of you who are sinning, believers, unbelievers, you know, when you start sinning, there is this, at first, a, a, a hesitation in it, right? And then as you get better at it, you just do it. Now it's like, listen, sinning is as 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 easy to you as, as getting up to brush your teeth. You don't think about it. It's just autopilot. And sometimes you get warnings. But I'm telling you, when you reach this place where you're no longer hearing the voice of God, when you are no longer feeling any type of remorse, you're in trouble. You're in the stage of hardening. Hold on, guys. I am just hot right now. But I don't want to take this top off because... <laughs> I can't, y'all can't see what I have on under here. Hold on. Not that it's inappropriate, but it's just, y'all just can't see it. Hold on. Let's turn the fan on for a second. Okay. You know, I have on one of those little comfy house tops that I can't let y'all see here. Um. So anyway, guys, when God stops talking, be worried. He's a gracious God. Everyone talks about a loving God, a kind God, but the word of God also say he's a God. He loves us, but he's a God of severity as well. There's judgment that comes. There are things that come. There are times when God may just take the hedge from around you and let you have your way. The enemy is there like a ravening wolf. He's like a raging lion. He wants to tear you apart, but by the grace of God, he's not allowing it. And God is just saying to you, stop, stop. You're getting warnings. You hear the voice of God all the time. Some of you may say, how do I know I'm hearing God's voice? You're hearing God's voice when you know you're about to do something and something within your heart is, is telling you no. The voice of God is when you feel guilt and, and hesitance. The voice of God can come in a song. The voice of God can be as you're getting ready to go sin and do something wrong, you get a phone call. Uh, uh, the voice of God could be when you're getting ready to do something wrong and it don't go through. You plan to meet and something comes up. You don't get to meet. The voice of God could be as you're getting ready to go. If you have a child, your child saying, daddy, stay home with me. Where you going? Mommy, stay home with me. Where you going? That's the voice of God. The voice of God could be a movie you watched right before that showed some big fallout that happens, a secret that's revealed. Let me tell you, you hear God's voice everywhere. The voice of God is when you're standing, you're sitting at the traffic light and it's taking forever. The voice of God comes to you when you're sitting in, in your car don't start. When you're sitting in traffic and you're hearing that voice and that feeling, the voice of God comes is your, the voice of God comes when your, your husband or your wife or your significant other is texting and calling you and kind of fussing at you because they feel something isn't right. That is the voice of God. But guys, be worried when you don't hear the voice no more. That was bad language, bad grammar. You don't hear the voice of God anymore, no more. When he gets quiet on you guys, that's when you got to worry. And that's simply God is letting you have what you so desire. Stop what you're doing you watching this video 
is also the voice of God if it applies to you. If you're doing something you're not supposed to be doing, stop doing it. Stop having that affair. Stop committing fornication. Stop messing with that man's wife. Stop messing with that woman's husband. Stop having illicit sex. Stop going to those places that God is telling you not to go to. Stop running with that crowd that's going to do you harm because God sees something. Don't ignore it. Don't get in that thing. Stop. When God tells you stay home and you feel like you don't want to go nowhere, don't get dressed at the last minute to go nowhere. There's a lot of people who have died just like that because when you talk to their family, they say, you know, he wasn't even going to go out. But the last minute he went, she wasn't going to go. She didn't feel like it. But the last minute she got a phone call and she went. She felt that she didn't want to go, but she kept going. Guys, let me tell you something. I said this in another video. You may talk about the, the return of God that's taking forever. You're not going to last forever. You and I, we don't live forever. How do you want to spend your life? Today, I can say I spent my day doing the things for God, reading my word, doing my best to do, to be pleasing. I made my choice to pick up this phone today to do this video. But I could have picked up this phone today to also get into mischief. You understand? Your time, your time is precious. The last six minutes I've been talking to you, that is gone forever. I can never take it back. Ask the Lord to forgive you for your sin. Run to him. Ask the Lord to help you through whatever you are struggling with. Break yourself free before you are exposed. But know this, when you are no longer hearing God, <laughs> when he's no longer talking to you, you are in trouble. And it's not that he wants to hurt you. He's letting you have what it is you are trying so hard to break through the fence for. The thing that you're willing to play in traffic for. There's some of you, you have an unprotected sex. You become so careless. You become so just hardened in your heart that you are risking the life of your wife to sleep with the strange woman. You're risking your husband's life to, to, to sleep with a man that comes through the back door, the one who lays with the foolish women. You're risking the whole livelihood of your family because should your husband get so enraged, she goes and take the life of that man. Is his life not also gone? Exposure is going to come. Everything done in the dark will come to light. Stop having that fornicating relationship. Don't believe the hype that, oh, he's going to be your husband. She's going to be your wife. The enemy is just already infiltrating your relationship to destroy it. Take it from me. I know. Been there, done that. Jesus is the best way. He's the only way. He is the truth and the light. He's the best way. Take it from someone that loved to party, run the streets, do my thing, do my dirt, hit you in the face when I wanted to. That God changed me and now I'm here on a, what day is it? Wednesday, trust me, a while back, I would have been having a drink right now, chilling and dialing up some mischief. Stop while you can, guys. Stop while you can. Stop while you can. Everybody's not going to get an opportunity like I got, like some of the people get. Sometimes God is stopping you because he sees the guillotine at the end of your trail. Get off <laughs> that deadly trail, guys. The times are evil. That's how the enemy's turned up the fire. He ain't playing with you. But when God goes silent, be advised. Something's coming. So repent, turn around before it's too late. All right, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Peace out.